Hey everybody, it's Brian, and in this video I'll be showing you the camera application in iOS 5 Beta 1. It was updated a little bit, but before I show you the camera app, I'll be showing you the camera button on the lock screen. So in Beta 1, to bring up the little camera button, you have to double press your home button to bring up the media controls, and then the camera button will show up right here. And it will get rid of slide 2, and it will just say unlock. So tapping on this, we'll go over to the camera, as you can see here. We've had these we've we've had this sort of thing in the on the jailbreak side of things for quite a while, but it will go directly to your camera. You won't be able to see any of the pictures that are already in your photo library, so this is just for taking quick videos and recording videos. So here is the camera application, of course, like usual. Now in 4.3 you would have a HDR button at the top, but instead in 5.0 you have an options button tapping on that will allow you to turn the grid on as you can see here and it will also allow you to turn on the HDR effect I'm gonna leave both of those things off for now and a new feature in iOS 5 is that you're able to use the volume up button to take pictures so let's say I want to take a picture of um, this pen Just have to set up your shot like so and push the volume button and it will take the picture like that. So there of course there were jailbroken tweaks that were that was able to do this and it's nice that this is built into iOS because it just it just means that you don't need any stupid mobile substrate extension running in the background. So I think the video interface is the same as well, so that is the same. Now one thing that people are noticing is that when you're in your camera app, you could swipe to the right to go look at your previous photos, just like in Windows Phone 7. So instead of tapping on this button, you could just tap to the right to see the photo that you've previously just taken with the camera application on your iPhone or iPod Touch or even your iPad 2. Swiping to the left, there's just nothing there. It would have been sort of cool so that here is your camera app. If you swipe to the left, it will show you the video the video recording feature. So maybe they'll make some, make some changes to this in the future, but that is pretty much the camera application itself. There's also an update to photos so that there is a little bit of built-in photo editing. So if you tap on the edit button, We'll get some options down at the bottom. This one is auto fix. This one removes a red eye. This one allows you to crop. And this one allows you to rotate your photo 90 degrees, as you can see there. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the automatic adjustments, as you can see there. And I'm also going to crop the photo. So I'm going to leave it there. You could also rotate it with two fingers, which for the most part the two finger rotation works okay but it just just seems like they could improve on that a little bit so I'll just choose this portion here and I'll make it like this and I want to see just this portion and we'll go to crop and we'll save the image and it is done it does not make a new image at least in this point in time maybe they'll make it so that it may it saves a new photo in a future beta but that is it so if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can leave them down below in the comments area. You could also leave any iOS 5 video requests. But that's it with this video, so thanks a lot for watching. And I'll